Hey, so hello to you, my Blender friend. So I've been messing around with some old school retro style of art. And in this tutorial here, I'm going to show you how you can create this light beam water ring effect that you see. I'm going to show you a bunch of other stuff as well. And if you can like and subscribe, I would really appreciate that. And let's get into it. Okay, so let's get into it here. We're just going to A and X everything away. Then we're going to go into render properties and we're gonna use Eevee so turn on ambient bloom and screen open up this screen deselect this half rest trace and set this trace precision all the way up then we're gonna go down to world and we're gonna change the color from gray to black so now we can get into creating this uh, cool looking water ring light beam effect okay so shift a we're gonna bring in a plane scale it two times and rotate it on the x like that now we can just duplicate it just gonna move it back so now we are having two planes here then we can bring in a camera click n and just set the rotation here to zero just gonna move it on the Y and just rotate it on the X. Now, if I go into camera view, I can actually move it a little bit further back like that. And the next thing here is to bring in a light. So we're gonna go with a area light. Just gonna move it on the Y. Rotate it on X. Going to scale it on the C here, like that. Now, if we bring in a cylinder, place the cylinder here. Just rotate it around. Scale it on the Y and just make it small, like that. And this is our setup for our scene so let's get into the more juicy part of this tutorial here so now we're going to create this plane here into a particle system and this other plane is going to be a canvas and we're going to connect these two so let's start off with a particle system here so click on a the plane then go to particle properties click this little plus icon and for this to work we need um, a lesser number than 1000 because this will look really bad if we use this higher number so we're just going to go with 250 so just go with somewhere between 200 and 400 and we're going to set this end to 1000 we're going to set this lifetime to 1000 we're also going to change our frames at the timeline here so set that to 1000 now we can go down to render and we can actually duplicate this one here and just make some variations of this one here so this doesn't need to be exact at all just make some kind of different variations and uh, Let's also just give this a material as well. So we're going to go shader editor, click new. And this is a really easy and super functional and nice um, node setup. So just go shift A and bring in our object info node. We're going to connect this to a hue saturation value. So the random into the hue and the color into the mission. We're going to set the mission strength to 10. And we're also going to set the color. Just pick any color. It doesn't matter which one. 
and now what you can do is just click select all of these ones here and select this one and go control and l and just copy this material so let me show you so now we have this thing going on so back into solo mode and um, let's select all of this and go um a new collection and we're just gonna go bloody bloody blue like that so the name doesn't matter and now we can click on this particle system here and we can go down and we're gonna change this render uh, we're gonna go to render render section and change this render as from halo into collection here and we're gonna open up this little mystery box and click on the name that we wrote in. So now if I hit spacebar, okay, we suddenly had a light as well in our collection here. So that's just fantastic. Uh, so let's do this again. Just gonna select all of these and deselect this light there. And, um, and bloody bloody two like that and we're going to click on the protocol system and then we're just going to set this to bloody bloody two like that so now the light is not in the way so now if i uh, hit spacebar and play this animation here we're going to have just a bunch of cylinders jumping down like that so we need to scroll all the way down, open up this field weights tab, and we're gonna set the gravity to zero. And we're gonna reset the particle system. We can change this to the timeline as well. And if I play it now, we're gonna have this thing here. And now we can see that the rotation is off. So let's just fix the rotation. And a quick way to do that is just select everything here, not this light, and rotate it on the C 90 degrees like that, and go Control A and apply the rotation. So now if I play it, these uh, cylinders are moving in the right direction here. So what we also can do is set this uh, scale up a little bit and also the scale randomness like that and just to show you how this looks so now we have this thing going on and obviously our friends here are moving way too slow so let's just reset everything and increase the speed and a nice way to increase the speed in a particle system is by going to physics here and go down to integration and you can use this time step number so if you set this to a higher amount that will speed up the animation lower amount that will slow it down so we can go to 0 0.12 like that now these so-called beams of light there are moving way quicker and if you want to change the scale here, you can just click and just change the scale like that. And this will uh, update immediately. Obviously, these are way too big now, so we're just going to move them away from the camera view. So uh, let's go to the next part here. So let's just reset this particle system. And we're going to go into solid mode. And we're going to connect these two planes together and create this uh, raindrop effect. So let's select the other plane. And uh, now we can select, start off with the particle system plane. So select the particle system plane. And 
we're going to go into physics properties we're going to click on something called dynamic paint and we're going to change this uh, from canvas to brush and we're going to click on add brush and then we're going to go down to this source to mesh volume change this to particle system and also remember to change the second one here to particle system as well and now we can click on the other plane so we're going to go to dynamic paint and this time we're going to keep it on canvas and we're going to click add canvas and we're going to change this um, surface type from paint to waves and here we have a bunch of different parameters so i just recommend to play around with these uh, parameters here and just uh, okay setup is to set this to speed here to 0 0.2 and the scale influence to 0 0.5 and this radius to 0 0.3 and this radius and scale and speed are the most important uh, parameters in this um, wave. So uh, if we now go to a light source here, click on, on a light and let's just bring up the light to and go into camera view. We can change the light now to something like that. And see what we got and this has no effect at all so the reason for that is that we need some more geometry uh, geometry into this um, plane here so let's uh, go into edit mode we're gonna right click and subdivide open up this little window and we're gonna set the number of cuts to 100 go back to object mode again and now if we go into the modifier tab, we're gonna give this a new modifier, a subdivision surface. And we're just gonna bring that up to two. If you wanna render this out with better quality, just bring up these numbers here and also go to uh, Eevee and set this render to 100 or 300, for example. So now if you go into it, we can see that we have a effect there. So not very visible, but we got some stuff going on. And if you want to make these uh, effects here more visible, we can go back into physics properties and click on the plane. And we can also so bring the scale influence up the width, the radius as well. There we go. And if I bring down the light, I think I took this light a little bit. And what you also need to do is just go and click on this plane, go into the shader editor, click on new, and we're gonna set this metallic to one, like that. So there we go. So that was the little trick, putting that this metallic to one that made a really big difference. So um, I think we, we sort of have the core essence of this uh, technique here. And what I did with these uh, sunglasses, so I pretty much just downloaded these sunglasses from um, uh, Blender Kit and uh, I used uh, and I just put this uh, plane here inside of these sunglasses, like that. Or I used the plane that was inside these sunglasses and, um, and yeah, 
and made a canvas out of it. So if you learned something here, uh, hopefully you can subscribe and like and just go around and play with this and uh, this technique. You can create all kinds of cool stuff with it and uh, have a great day and peace out. Okay, so I'm just going to show you a couple of things about these uh, sunglasses here at the end. So if you're wondering, uh, so let me just show you here real quick. So these uh, sunglasses here, I just duplicated them like that. And uh, this is a wireframe. So if you want to create something like this yourself, it's real quick. Just go to the Jesus Christ. Sorry. Okay, so just go to uh, click here, go to the modifier tab and go wireframe like that. Just bring this thickness down. There we go. And this uh, gradient color, it's going to show you real quick. So super easy setup like this, just a color ramp into the base emission and a separate uh, X, Y, and C node and a texture coordinate and a mapping node like that. Uh, and um, the stars as well, really easy setup. So just plug in a color ramp into the background, noise texture, a mapping texture coordinate like that. And I think, uh, yeah, and um, also uh, what I did in, so this is the exact same artwork. It's just a different and a little bit cooler camera angle. And I just brought back the uh, particle emitter back here. So now we have the particle emitter uh, emitting all of these light beams from a further distance. So that's the only difference. And the canvas is here. So it's just this thing here. So this is the plane pretty much. Yeah, you get the point. So. Um, that's uh, all. Enjoy the rest of your day and hopefully I'll see you again.